Welcome to the quick start tutorial for BigQuery, Google Cloud's large-scale data warehouse for storage and analysis. In this video, we're going to walk through how to analyze data stored in BigQuery using the BQ command line tool. To start, visit console.cloud.google.com to open the Google Cloud console. This web portal allows you to manage and explore your cloud resources directly from a browser. Create a new project by clicking the Project Viewer button at the top of your screen. Once it's ready, you'll get a notification saying so. Click the Notifications icon and then click Select Project to open your new project. Next, activate Cloud Shell by clicking its icon to the right of the search bar. Cloud Shell is an online development environment that comes preloaded with helpful tools for interacting with your cloud resources. Once it launches, click the Maximize button to increase the size of the Cloud Shell terminal. Now you'll use the BQ command line tool to explore one of the sample tables provided in BigQuery, the Shakespeare table, which contains an entry for every word in every Shakespeare play. You can use the BQ show command to display information about the table. Type BQ show plus the table reference in the command prompt. If prompted, make sure to click Authorize to authorize Cloud Shell to make API calls. You will then see information about the table returned, including its schema and size. You can learn more about how to use the BQ command line tool by typing in BQ help. You can also view information about a specific command. Here, we can ask for information about the BQ query command. Now let's run an SQL query over the Shakespeare table using the BQ query command. This query, which is available following the link in the description below, calculates how many times the substring raisin appears in Shakespeare's works. The output shows that while raisins appears once, the raisin substring also appears in words like praising and raising. We can also query to see how many times the substring huzza appears. Since the substring does not appear in Shakespeare's works, no results are returned. Now let's create a new table and place it in a new dataset. Our sample data will come from the US Social Security Administration and contains about 7 megabytes of data about popular baby names. First, visit the link in the description below and download the baby names zip file to your local device. Open the file yob2010.txt to see what it looks like. It contains comma separated values for three columns name, sex, a number of children with that name. Next, upload the yob2010.txt file from your local device to Cloud Shell using the three-dotted More menu. You can confirm that the file was successfully uploaded to the Cloud Shell environment by running ls. Run bqls to check whether your project has existing datasets. Now we can run the bqmk command to create a new dataset called baby names for our own project. If we run bqls again, we can see that our new dataset appears as part of our project. In the baby names dataset that you created, use the bq load command to load your source file yob2010.txt into a new table called names2010. This command creates a table and loads data in a single step. You can provide the dataset ID table ID, source, and schema. Once the upload is complete, confirm that the table now appears in the dataset by running BQ LS baby names. You can also view the table schema by running BQ show baby names .names 2010 Now that the table is loaded, we can run some queries on the data, again using the BQ query command. For example, this query returns the most popular girls' names. And this one returns some unusual boys' names. Now that you've successfully run your queries, make sure to complete a few quick cleanup steps. To avoid incurring storage charges to your Google Cloud account for the resources used in this quick start, run this bqrm command and confirm the delete command by typing in y. To finish cleanup, type rm yob2010.txt to remove the file that you uploaded to your Cloud Shell environment. And that's it. You're now equipped to run queries and load data using the BQ command line tool. Make sure to check out the rest of our BigQuery documentation at cloud.google.com slash bigquery slash docs 
to learn more about how to use BigQuery to gain insights about your data.